Hello, this is MakerJ101, and I'm going to be replacing some parts in my car. Today, I'm going to be doing the, in this video, I'm going to be doing the um, cover gasket because it leaks a little bit back here. So, I'm going to be replacing that, and then I'm also going to be replacing the main crank seal because I'm losing some oil. And um, I also need to replace the door. I got a door for it. So, um, yeah. But here are the parts that I bought so far. So, it's spark plugs, crank seal, cover gasket. Um, I also got a PCV valve, I already replaced that actually, um, and then some uh, cleaner, so um, let's start with the uh, cover gasket. This video is mainly just going to be um, me taking it apart and then putting it back together. It's really nothing special, um, so you don't really even have to watch it. It's mainly just, or partly for me, just for reference in case I forget how, where one bolt goes or something, I can figure out how it goes back together. But um, yeah, I thought I'd make a video and post it on YouTube for you guys. So, yeah, I'll just put it on the tripod and speed it up. Alright, so here's the engine with the valve cover off, and well, no, it doesn't look too bad, I guess. So you can see here where the oil is leaking out, all over there. So The old seal is fairly hard, and I don't know, it's probably just needs replaced. The chain, I'm not sure if that's, it kind of seems, I don't know, I guess it's alright. It's probably fine. I don't know, you guys would know better than I would. It's wiggly. I mean, I don't know. But I've actually never seen th this kind before. I'm not, not sure what that's called, but those are for the valves, obviously. But I'm not, I've never seen those kind of like piston kind. It's odd to me, but that's how it is, so I don't know. And then this over here looks like some sort of a sensor that senses um, the position. There's kind of like these knob things that on the, uh, what do you call this, the valve rod or, I don't know what you call this part, <laughs> but um, yeah. So actually, if I was going to make adjustments or something to it, I don't think I could because there's no um, springs to adjust or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know a lot about engines, so. <laughs> but, yeah, it doesn't look bad. It's not, like, real goopy in here or anything, so, I think the worst area is right down there. There's some build-up down there, but it's nothing terrible. So, but, yeah. Looks pretty good. I'm glad it's not full of junk or anything. And then here's the uh, cover. So you can see there's some caking and stuff on there, but it's not terrible. So I'll probably brush this off with a wire brush or something. But yeah, so it looks pretty decent. All right, so I have some questions for you guys. So do I clean this or do I leave it as is? So I mean, it's pretty caked on down here. I scrubbed that area right there real quick with this degreaser and then I um, dumped a little water on to wash it off like the direction said. But I mean over here it's really thick. I don't know. So maybe you guys could tell me whether I should leave that on and just put it back on like as is. Whoa. It's actually a lot there. It's like big crusty stuff. Maybe I should scrape some of that off. But I don't know if I really want to get water behind this piece of metal here. Um, because I don't know if there's more caked back there that might come out, or, like, eventually, like, when the engine's running, or I don't know if I want, water might get back there or something, so I'm not sure whether I should, uh, like, wash the whole thing down thoroughly, because it doesn't look like I can take this off, so, well, I don't know, maybe it, yeah, those look like rivets, so I don't think I can take it off. 
Um, but yeah, so I don't know whether I should just. So that's where I scrubbed it down a little bit already. And as you can see, after one try, there's still a lot on there. It's like really caked on. But um, yeah, so I don't know if I should just put it back in like this or scrape some of it off. And then the other thing is the seal actually, um, the gasket, it looks like why it's leaking is, well, the gasket's kind of starting to uh, deteriorate a little bit. So I think this is why it's leaking. The seal is starting to kind of deteriorate a little bit. It's not smooth. And then also the ga the cover, I wire brushed this a little bit, and you can see it's all pitted. So it kind of looks like it's been like corroding under there. So maybe some water or something got under, and then it's just kind of corroding. I'm not really sure what to do about that. So maybe I should put some um, gasket sealant or something in between the gasket and the um, cover. The block looks perfectly fine though. So I'm not going to do anything with that. Just clean it off with the degreaser maybe a little bit to get some of this stuff off over here or just scrape it with a putty knife or something. I don't want to scratch it though. And then I'll add a little bit of sealant to those two spots there. Probably like silicone gasket maker. But I don't know if I should put that in this crack here or just put the seal in like like it is. Because I mean it is pitted in there. So you guys probably can't see that at all. There we go. So you can see the pitting in there. So and that's after I wire brushed it so it's all clean there. But um, so that's where it looks like it's leaking just by looking at the oil all in there. Oh, my camera's not focusing. There we go. So, yeah, if you guys could give me some ideas on whether I should clean this out or what, um, and what's behind this metal. I'm guessing it's probably an oil separator because you've got the, like, vacuum line here. So, um, that's probably what it is. But whether I should just leave leave it alone, put it back in, or scrape some of this out, or really clean it, like, I don't know, just spray it, soak it in this stuff, and then hose it off. Um, maybe you guys could tell me on that. But, um, yeah, so I'll get back to this tomorrow, because it's pretty late right now anyway. So, um, yeah, but that's the progress. So, um, stay tuned for the next video, where I'll put it back on after I read you guys' comments. So, um... Yeah, that'd be awesome if you commented. Thanks for watching. So yeah, if any of you guys have any experience with valve covers and valve cover seals and stuff like that, um, that'd be awesome if you could uh, comment and tell me what to do. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good inside, I'd say. It's a little bit caked up with oil and gunk, but um, it's not bad. Kind of like the baked on reddish brown oil color there. It's, it's a cool color. I like the color of this old machinery color, but um, yeah, so um, the cams are nice and shiny there. So if there's anything else I need to check, uh, maybe you guys could uh, tell me. I thought that, or maybe I'm supposed to check the distance between uh, the cams and the, uh, I guess those are hydraulic um, tappets or something, but maybe, if, I don't know if I need to check that, but I don't even know how I'd adjust it if, if I did need to. I think they're like automatically adjusting or something, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that much about this kind of stuff, but, um, so yeah, if you guys have any, um, tips and stuff, suggestions, that'd be awesome, just put a comment, um, so that is, yeah, my engine, so I'll put this back together tomorrow after I read some comments, and, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.